Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at condensing logarithmic expressions. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we're talking about condensing, we're going to take something that's written like in long form, if you will, and try to, to simplify it and shrink it down as much as possible. So here's our first example. Imagine we have log base 2 with an argument of 5 plus log base 2 with an argument of x minus log base 2 with an argument of y. Alright, so when you're trying to think about how to handle this, you have to think about the different logarithmic properties that you are familiar with. So I can already tell you right now that as I look at this, I see that we need to use two properties, the product and the quotient. In other words, just to make it clear, I'm going to use the product right here. I'm going to use the product property right here and then once I simplify this I will repeat this process with the whole thing and I will use the quotient property for the whole thing now this will make a lot more sense when you see the actual example so let's go ahead and do that so here we go I got this log base 2 uh, with the argument of 5 plus log base 2x another way to write this is that if you are familiar like I just said with the product property of logarithms that will be written as follows so it'll be log base 2, 5, x. That's it. Because they have the same base, you can combine them and just multiply them across like that. They have the same value. And again, if this is confusing for you, I recommend that you look at the videos where we discuss about the properties of logarithms. So I have log base 2, 5x minus log base 2, y. Now this time, instead of having an addition sign between the two terms, if you will, I now have a subtraction sign. And that is why we now use the quotient property. So when we do that, we get the following. We get log base 2, 5x over y, like so. And this is the answer. In other words, we've shrunken down and condensed it as much as we can. Um, and this is what it looks like. So again, when you know what the different properties are, what tools you have available, you can find ways to simplify and to shrink things down as much as possible. And that is kind of what we did here. Let's do another example and we'll wrap this up. So in this example, we have the following. We start with 3 log base 2x plus 2 log base 2 times the quantity of x minus 1, like so. So this is what we have here. Um, so here's what we do first. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to deal with this constant that is out front. And so these guy right here, this guy right here. And so to do that, we have to use the power rule. So we're going to use some power here. You know, no joke intended there. And so we end up with the following. We end up with log base 2 x to the third power plus log base 2 x minus 1 to the second power. That's what we did here. And so now, now that we have this addition thing here, we have the same base, we can now use the product. The product property. And so essentially what we end up with is as follows. We end up with the final answer is going to be as follows. Log base 2 x to the third multiplied by the quantity of x minus 1 squared. That's how it is. And I guess we could simplify this further if we really wanted to, but for our purposes we're going to stop here. You know, maybe perhaps you can distribute the x third. But for our purposes we're done. And so again you can see that we were able to condense this even more. Um, and you can see how that works. So again, the, the point here is that you have to be available, I mean, you have to be aware of the different tools that are available for you when you're trying to deal with logarithmic expressions, whether you want to condense or expand. This video focused on condensing. So let me go back and wrap, review what I've talked about and then we will wrap up the video. So in this video, we were looking at how to condense or how to you know, shrink down the length, if you will, of a logarithmic expression. And the key to doing that is being familiar with the different properties of logarithms and knowing when you can use them and when you cannot and how to find an appropriate way to deal with such situations. And so in this first example, we started with the product, 
property and then once we simplify the stuff to the left of the minus sign we then use the quotient property to kind of wrap up everything and shrink it down as much as we possibly could in this particular example right here we started with the power in other words we moved this coefficient that was out front in both of these and we moved them to be powers like so and that's consistent with the power property of logarithms once we had that, you can see we have this nice plus sign in the middle here with the same basis on both sides, which means that we can now use the product property. And that is how we're able to simplify our final expression. So, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Research, uh, Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for listening. Take care.